गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स आर टूडे टॉपिक इज डायबिटिक कीटो एसिडोसिस एंड एच एस एस आई एम गोइंग टू राइट हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द टॉपिक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डी के ए एंड अनादर वन इज एच एच एस सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन टू वॉट इज इट वॉट इज इट डी के ए इफ वी you all know the full form of dka is diabetic keto acidosis so i am not going to write this word full form dka uh, we see dka in mainly type 1 diabetes mellitus in type 1 diabetes mellitus i already explain about type 1 diabetes mellitus in my last video so please see that lecture also and what is hhs hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state it is mainly seen in type 2 diabetes mellitus and uh, what is dk and hhs it is the acute complication acute onset complication my dear friends this is the complication of diabetes dk mainly in type 1 and hhs in type 2 okay so now i am going to tell you what happens here here it's hyperglycemia hyperglycemia here here also same hyperglycemia glycemia so my dear friends uh, here hyperglycemia we consider about 250 till 800 but here in type 2 diabetes hyperglycemia uh, in hhs hyperglycemia must be 600 till 1000 mg per deciliter so see how much difference here and sometime sometime here ketosis also ketosis ketones ketones here present but here may be present may be absent but not always so we think consider absent without non ketotic hhs in case of hhs so what about the ph here the ph ph if in case of mild blood ph it is blood ph uh, mild cases less than 7.30 in moderate till severe it is less than 7.25 as we know the ph of blood is uh, nearly normal is 7.35 till 7.45 so here the ph goes acidic acidic my dear friends but here the ph is less acidic 7.30 above in hhs so now we understand acidemia here ketosis we already known the ketones ketonuria here and uh, what else uh, i am going to explain you here bicarbonate serum bicarbonate we are going to write hco3 here bicarbonate in case of mild uh, we think uh, uh, it's uh, less than 18 but in moderate to severe it is 15 till 18 but here it is more than 18 and bicarbonate normal value is about 20 so see bicarbonate level going down down here and in case of if we think anion gap anion gap here the anion gap is more than 12 in both mild moderate and severe but here it is less than 12 so it's very much necessary and important to understand and serum osmolarity osmolarity what was going to be happen here here must be normal sometime but here it is more than 320 serum osmolarity we are going to see in such a way and then mental status mental status what happen may be here altered but in severe cases altered uh, otherwise alert we think alert A L E R T alert, alert. But here confusion, confusion, and uh, what else? Coma. 
state, hypoglycemic, hyperglycemic state. So, my dear friends, I hope till here it's clear for you. There is a no doubts. It's really very easy. See this chart about DKA and HHS. And learn one thing more. It is mainly found in children's children's here in elderly male above 65. Okay. So now I'm going to explain you and how to diagnose. It's very easy. See ABG, uh, atrial blood gases, pH, we are going to monitor. Bicarbonates by blood, we can know. And uh, we can see the ketones, urine sample. If ketonuria is positive, then it, in urine ketones positive. If they are it's negative, we see the blood sugar, like dipstick blood sugar test. And we are going to know. And uh, what kind of complication, what kind of symptoms in those all the two mental status I already explained earlier. These are the acute complication and in our next video, I am going to explain you the chronic complications also. So my dear friends, please try and understand this. This is a very simple and very, very easy task. There is no difficulty till here. I hope it's clear for you. And now I am going to explain you what is going to happen these are the hyperglycemic states both two and uh, i'm going to explain you the treatment now uh, no firstly i'm going to explain something more here like why this dk and hhs happen and why ketone bodies produces why there is hyperglycemia so i'm going to explain to you now see insulin level here if we see dka decreases insulin decreases if insulin decreases then what is going to be happen then lipolysis increase lipolysis lipids break down in this case lipids are going to be broken down and then free fatty acid FFA uh, deliver to liver to liver free fatty acid delivered to liver and it causes ketoacidosis ketoacidosis so try to understand the pathophysiology in DKA severe deficiency of insulin then lipolysis occurs then free fatty acid delivery to liver then ketoacidosis occurs and uh, what was going to be the next EVC like glucagon increase increase glucagon catecholamine Mines and cortisol increases. What was going to be happen with the help of this? These causes proteolysis means proteins break down, increases here, and which causes increase of gluconeogenesis. Gluconeogenesis increases, and uh, here it's now let's see these causes also lipolysis and fatty acid uh, to the liver and ketones so what was happened with these two glucose synthesis increase increase so if you see gluconeogenesis and glucose utilization it causes hyperglycemia hyperglycemia and then what is going to happen osmotic diuresis it causes osmotic diuresis my dear friends see and osmotic diuresis causes dehydration severe dehydration okay and uh, then uh, still dehydration we are going to take and it causes dka and in next uh, hyperosmolarity and till here hyperosmolarity so my dear friends, I hope till here it's very clear for you. But in case of DKA, osmotic signs, polyuria, polyuria, and dyspnea, DKA, and uh, abdominal pain, pain, abdominal pain, nausea, I'm going to write N and B is vomiting. So these are the symptoms and these are acute situations. That's why less than one day. Cosmol breathing, cosmol breath means deep respiratory. such kind of breathing prolonged is known as cosmol breathing and fruity breath why fruity breath smell because fruit like breath uh, because due to acidosis 
the fruit like breath smell occur but in case of uh, hhs there is a coma altered consciousness dehydration and such symptoms my dear friends i hope it's clear for you and now i am going to teach you how to treat dta and how to treat hhs so my dear friends it's not a difficult task to treat both of them it's very very simple and very easy now i am going to explain you because you have to need to watch my previous videos also like uh, insulin doses and everything what happens in dka and hhs patient in a severe condition acute complication so we need to treat we have to patient is dehydrated then iv fluids iv fluids we have to inject normal saline is the best one in first hour first hour patient is severely dehydrated in both cases we need to give one to <laughs> till three liter fluid fluid we have to inject iv and then next coming hours then one liter in the next hour and now uh, that follow on see the condition of the patient and uh, then second step we need to give insulin which insulin like regular insulin we can give short acting it is and another one like as part as part is rapid intake uh, rapid insulin as part list pro these insulin so we are going to give in both cases 0.1 unit into per kilogram body weight if patient is uh, like uh, 100 kg so 100 divided by uh, multiply by 0.1 it's 10 units so 10 unit we have to give in this patient of dka and there's a electrolyte disbalance if potassium potassium is more than 6 no need to give potassium if potassium uh, uh, is uh, 3. Uh, it's a uh, 4.5 till 6 then we need to give 10 millimol per liter and if potassium is um, uh, 3.5 till 4.5 we need to give 20 millimol per liter potassium chloride and if potassium is less than 3 then stop insulin stop stop insulin for dka my dear friends and if there is acidosis uh, you think we need to give bicarbonate but this is not a right answer okay so correct iv fluid balance insulin and electrolyte balance so my dear friends i hope till here it's clear for you and now it's a time to discuss some mcqs uh, and it's a very easy task very 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 easy task what we need to do in this uh, now i'm going to ask some questions uh, discussing some question not going to ask today all are true about diabetes mellitus except no 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 another question in jipmer 2011 a patient present with dka which of the following statement is true dka we already discuss and now question four options they ask which one is true a option is urine output may be misleading b option is initial hyperkalemia c option is phosphaturia leads to what is phosphate deficiency and d option is sodium bicarbonate useful in treatment so my dear friends here answer is b1 initial hyperkalemia in such situation firstly the hyperkalemia occurs okay my dear friends the drug uh, next question karnataka 2012 the drug of choice in 80 year old patient with hyperglycemic and ketoacidosis so i already explained in both the cases we need to give insulin so no need to check the option also but here some tricky they ask a option is oral hypoglycemic drugs b option is intermediate acting insulin i am not explaining here intermediate so no intermediate second option eliminated no drugs we are going to because it's acute situation and c option is oral drug with intermediate acting insulin it is also wrong no oral drugs and d option is short acting insulin so my dear friends i already explained short acting is regular we need to give this yes d1 is the answer in dnb 2012 they asked a question drug used in both type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus it's uh premlini did i already explained in my past videos okay that you have to watch now i am going to ask one question more discuss sign of diabetic ketoacidosis is option a loss of sweating option b is depression 
ऑप्शन सी इज डिहाइड्रेशन ऑप्शन डी इज एबसेंट ऑफ ड्यूब टेंडर रिफ्लेक्स वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इन कर्नाटका टू थाउजेंड टाइम I already explained so many times in my video. Ask spell C option here. Answer is dehydration, my dear friends. It is the most common cause. And uh, my dear friends, last question I am going to ask in AIMS 2011. Which of the following statement about the diabetic ketoacidosis is true? A option is decreased by carbonate. B option is increased lactate. C option is normal anion gap. and d option is glucose level less than 250 so my dear friends here answer is a because decrease by carbonates here that's why acidosis occurs acidosis occur so and one question i am going to explain you one more discussion in uh, ma m a h e exam 2005 they ask one question dehydration in a ketoacidosis is best treated with Option A is isolate P. Option B is isolate M. Option C is normal saline. Option D is molar one by six of lactate. I already explained normal saline. We are going to use C. Very simple. These questions are very simple. If you uh, prepare with my theory, you are going to definitely, definitely crack an exam very easy because they are asking a very simple and easy questions. There is no masala in such questions. Okay. Last question we are going to discuss. In JPMAR uh, 2005, they ask question: Factitious hyperinsulinemia differentiated from insulinoma by. Oh, it's another my lecture question, but I am going to tell you: insulin antibodies, C-peptide or serum glucose levels. Hyperinsulinemia with C-peptide, of course, my dear friends. Yeah, the answer is right. But if you watch my lecture about insulin, so there I explain this question. So, my dear friends. thank you thank you for your paying attention with my lectures and uh, uh, if you still not subscribe my channel so please don't uh, forget to subscribe my channel please subscribe it it give me a motivation to make more videos and uh, i decide to uh, teach all 23 subjects and all the topics so my dear friends please if you like my video please put like on it and uh, if you have any question you can ask me and if you want to study any topic you can write me on comment box i am going to uh, teach that topic also so my dear friends have a good day good night thank you for watching my channel thank you thank you thank you once again